this video has me all sweaty and nervous <sighs> hello beautiful welcome back to my channel we are finally going to talk about this one we are finally going to talk about the collab between me and Udensai Cosmetics this is the Hello palette I am so excited to finally be showing you this to finally be talking about it to finally be revealing this beautiful palette and if this is your first video if this 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 is your first video here if you pick this video as your first video on my channel you picked a good one because this channel is all about having fun with makeup i love everything beauty makeup related but i especially love colorful makeup from indie brands and especially eyeshadows and that is everything that this video is going to be all about and i'm just i'm just so happy you're here don't forget to subscribe though if you're not subscribed because yeah there's a lot of videos going on here but let's dive into the palette <laughs> I want to pretend like I'm going to be super professional and that there's not going to be any hiccups in this video, but the truth is that you're probably going to hear my dog snoring throughout this video because he is sleeping here um, under the desk. So it is, I, I want to say I'm sorry, but I'm kind of not because like he lives here <laughs> and he looks so cozy. So like it is what it is. I'm so excited to finally be showing you this palette. This is, like I said, the collaboration between me and Swedish indie brand Odin's Eye Cosmetics. Odin's Eye Cosmetics is based on Norse mythology. And I'm Swedish, even though I, right now I'm not living in Sweden, I'm Swedish and I'm just super, super excited. They did ask me already in 2020 if I wanted to collab and I was like held up in another contract at that point and I said yes, but let's put a pin in it. So here we are, February 2022, and we are finally releasing this palette and I am just so, so excited. I have been working on this so hard and I've been trying to make this as perfect as possible and I am sweating and I, okay, let's dig in and let's have a look at this because this is the sleeve. This is the sleeve and you can see it is me as Hela. Hela is the goddess of death in Norse mythology and she is often pictured as a woman with half her face death and have her face young and alive and it's also pictured here with her two siblings but when you open it up this is a sleeve it's in color on the inside and i think that this detail is just so beautiful because on the inside you can see this beautiful picture in color and it is like i said it is me as the goddess hella and it is her two siblings which is Midgurts Ulmen, the big Ouroboros snake, the snake that is so long that it wraps around the world and bites its own tail. And it is Fenris Ulven, which is a big wolf in Norse mythology. And these are her two siblings. And I just, the artwork is just, I'm so excited about this artwork. Like I had an idea of what I wanted, but they really executed this artwork better than I could have ever imagined. And all of these like holographic and metallic details, it is truly a work of art and i'm so excited about the fact that the the sleeve is like black and white almost it's more like almost black and white and then you have the all these colors are you ready for the inside because the inside i'm just so proud of it it's so beautiful i'm so excited and like this is what it looks like look at this beautiful palette even just looking at the monitor or looking at it here, this is an untouched copy. You do get a mirror on the inside and you do have the same artwork on the inside as you do on the outside. And I love this color story. Immediately when we started talking about a collab, I knew exactly what kind of a color story I wanted. I told uh, the owner of Unisai Cosmetics, I told them I want something that's warm without being typical warm. Like I want something that's not warm neutrals, not something that's like what you think of really with warms, like reds or maybe even orange. I'm like, I want something that's warm, but I want something, especially like warm greens. I just wanted to create something that was different for me or just something that captured the other side of the kind of makeup that I like to wear because I like to wear colors, but I also like to mix it up a bit. And I love looks that are a little bit more on the grungy and the warm greens. And I'm just so excited about this palette this palette is 16 different shades it is a mix between mattes shimmery metallics some are a little bit more sparkly than other ones there is a duochrome and there is a multi-chrome in this palette i and you know this one of my absolute favorite things with palettes is when they come with more than two different formulas like i love when the palette has different options and it just gives you variety in the formulas and i also made a point to make all these shades in a way so that they all go together so that you are able to do looks and you can mix and match these mats with each other so that they will work together 
This palette is releasing on the 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day, 1 a.m. Swedish time. So 1 a.m. Swedish time is 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that is like then the day before. So it is actually releasing on like the evening or late afternoon evening on the 13th in the US. And then if you're living in Asia, it's releasing later on the 14th. So I will write a couple of time zones down below. Remember, you can always Google your time zone if you want to know like what with like when it is releasing, but it is releasing on the 14th of February. Check the description box for all the info about this release. It is gonna be 43.90, which is in US dollars. They do ship worldwide. I don't know exactly if it's like every, every, every country. If you have any questions about shipping or customer service or anything like that, I would refer you to uh, Unasai's website and their customer service. I will also leave that down below because I won't be able to answer like questions regarding stuff like that, but I will refer you to the right place down below but i'm just super 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 excited i cannot wait for this to release and together with this release we will also be uh, having these scarves i'm gonna show you this is actually a twilly because i here it is i wanted it to be like a thin scarf these are the kind of scarves that i love to wear in my hair when i have it up or when i'm doing like you know, something that's like more of a 50s uh, hairstyle. I love having small like these. And also these twillies, this is like a thin scarf. And you can see it is the pattern of the palette in color on one side, and then it is the black and white on the other side. It's actually super, 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 super cool. And you can also wear these twillies uh, wrapped around the handles of your bags. You have seen a lot of probably like luxury Instagrammers and bloggers do that around their bags. It's really, really pretty. These scarves will come for free for the first people that order uh, this palette. And then you can add on the website, you can add the palette and the scarf for the same price, so the scarf will be free as long as it is available. When the scarf sells out, it sells out. It is for the first people that ordered the palette, just so you know. But it's just something extra, something fun. It will come in a special, I'm just showing you here how the special uh, box looks. This is how the box is gonna look. It's gonna have a little letter from me and everything is gonna be securely bubble wrapped. So when you order this collab, you are gonna get it in a special box as well. I just wanted to show you that. I do have an affiliated code with with Uda's Eye and the code is Jessica and you usually get 10% off your order at Uda's Eye and that code won't work on this collab item and usually like affiliated codes don't work on collab items but if you're thinking about adding something else to your basket do add the code so you can get 10% off that at least. So should we just start swatching because I am just I'm just so excited. I will put all the info about the palette, the release, all the links to everything you will need down in the description box. If I forget to mention anything and you're like, why didn't she talk about that? Check the description box because I am just super excited and maybe I just glossed over something and if I did, I'm really sorry, but um, I'm just so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here. Let's, let's start swatching. Ooh, ooh, ooh. People are gonna ask, is it limited edition? Most of the time, collab items are limited edition. It is limited edition, but Udasai did tell me that if it sells out quickly, they will be able to restock. So it all depends on like if it sells out and when it sells out. If it sells out quickly, they will be able to restock, but it is a limited edition item. Most, most like collab items are limited edition. So if you want it, I would say get it like sooner rather than later. But even if you don't get it, remember just you being here, watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting my videos, maybe sharing my videos, that is also supporting me. You don't have to buy it to support me, but if you do buy it, thank you for the extra support. Okay, I wanted to create something that I thought a lot of people would have a lot of fun with, so let's go through these shades and I will explain each and every one of these shades and I will just let you know why it's named like it is. Hela or Hiel as she is in Swedish mythology. She is the goddess of death and she is the ruler of her kingdom, Hiel's kingdom, which is the like the, the kingdom of death basically. This is where you go 
in Norse mythology, when you die, and you don't die in glorious battle. So if you die of sickness, if you die of old age, or if you die by accident, you go to Heal's kingdom. And actually when Christianity came to Scandinavia and they were trying to spread Christianity, they did actually take some parts of uh, the mythology around Heal, and that's how hell came to be. So the word hell and how hell is described is taken very loosely from Norse mythology and Heal. But going to Heal's kingdom was not a punishment like going to, to hell. It's more of a, like, this is where you go when you die, and Heal will decide, depending on if you've been a good person or a bad person, how your stay in her kingdom will be, if it's gonna be a punishment or if you're gonna live a good afterlife. Heal is pictured with one half of her face as death and one half of her face as like like life and like young and youthful and this is meant to describe the whole like relationship between death and life because it is described in Norse mythology that without death there cannot be life so it is not necessarily a punishment or something bad and that's why she's seen as this two sides of one coin and the word heal is still used in Sweden and it means whole to be complete or to be whole because without death there cannot be any life. So I just thought that this was such an interesting part of uh, Norse mythology. And it's something that I have been always thought was super exciting. So when Udas I contacted me and they were like, what would you like to do? My instant response was, I want to do something with Heal. And I also think that when you do a collab, it is for me important to do something that can stand on its own. So if people see this palette on Uda's eye site, they will think that it fits in with Uden's eye and it brings something new to the brand, even though they might not know who I am. And that's just how I like to do collab. Everybody does whatever they want to do, but that's just how I see it. The first color is called Rebirth and it is a pastel yellow. I said I need to have a pastel in this palette because you know I love a pastel either in my inner corner or on my lid especially when I'm doing all matte looks. I've been such a fan this past year on like all matte looks or using a matte inner corner and this Rebirth is such a pigmented smooth pastel yellow and it works so beautiful with the shades in this palette. I just love this shade so, so much. If you have a fair skin tone, you will be able to use this as a crease color or as a transition color as well. I use it as in the corner highlight or as a lid shade. It was also said in Norse mythology that if you came to Heal's kingdom uh, and you died out of sickness, if Heal felt like you deserved another chance, she would give you a rebirth. So that's the name. Fluorescence is a very sparkly, chartreuse, limey, yellowy green. This is leaning a little bit more on the lighter, almost very yellowy green. And this one is a little bit more of a sparkly formula. I really wanted something light and bright and fun <laughs> to have as an either inner corner shade I have it in my inner corners today this is the inner corner shade I have in this look or as a lid shade or just something that's just brighter and a, like really a yellowy green I love having a bright color on the lid I love all kinds of colors to be honest but I knew I wanted something really bright and really sparkly in the green spectrum when I did this and in Norse mythology the gods were described to having a, like a fluorescent maybe I should have called bioluminous but bioluminescence doesn't sound as good as, <laughs> as fluorescence. So if you're into science like me, don't shoot me for this one, but the gods were described as having a bioluminous or a fluorescent light around them. The next one is called Underworld, and this one is a very yellowy green matte. This is more of a lighter mid-tone yellowy green. It is not necessarily a lime. It is a lot more yellow toned than a lime green. It has a beautiful yellow undertone, and this is a perfect starting up color or a lid color if you want to have a look that's leaning a little bit more on the yellow side. It can also be a beautiful color like just one and done on the lid, blend it into your crease, put some mascara on and you have a fun bright like almost springy one shadow look without going too deep and dark. And Heal's Kingdom was described to be in the underworld. Decay is a beautiful grungy cool tone mucky like army green like a khaki i love the shade of this one i knew i wanted to have something like this one i feel like this is the kind of green that's like a neutral it's like a neutral green you can see this kind of green in neutral palettes and if you wanted to use green but you don't want it to be too bright like the look that i'm having on today this is the perfect outer corner like shadow it is 
just a beautiful color and I'm so happy to have it in here. The next one is called Golden Bridge and it is said to cross over to Hill's Kingdom. There was a river on the border and over the river was a golden bridge. This color is a very golden, olivey, like true metallic. It is very smooth, very high shine, beautiful like olive green golden tone. I think it's so beautiful. I did not want to have a gold. You know I'm not about the gold life. I think golds are pretty but if I'm gonna have something that's a little bit more on the neutral green leaning side I prefer something like this like a more golden olive and it's just such a pretty color. Next one is called moss and moss is the color that I have as a transition color today. This is your perfect starting up color in your crease if you want to do a really green look. This this is like a lighter true green. It is not a pastel, but it's also not like a true grass or kermit green. I just think this is such a beautiful matte color. I'm so excited that we were able to get something that was like this green, but also not too, too bright. It's bright, but it's not like a kermit green. Next shade is one of my favorite shades on this palette, and this one is called Venom. This is a grass green sparkly metallic. It is so bright. It is so beautiful. It's what I have on the outer half of my lid today. It's just such a fun and bright color and this is the perfect color if you want to go bright bright green. Just put this on your lid and like it just really gives a pop to the look and I'm so happy at how bright and wonderful this green is and I would say that this is not leaning either warm or cool. It's more on the warmer side. Maybe it's not like a mint but it's also not yellow leaning in that way. The next one is Ouroboros which is the big snake that I said that goes around the world and bites itself in the tail. This snake is a big part of Norse mythology and it's also a big part of other <laughs> mythologies to be honest and I decided to name this shade Ouroboros the English name instead of the Swedish name. Just make it a little bit easier on most of us to be honest, but I wanted to bring in her siblings here as well. Fun fact, have you seen Marvel, how Hela is described there? She is not the sibling of Loki and Thor, okay? That's the Marvel version. In Norse mythology, Loki is actually Hela's dad, but I guess that the, the father thing didn't really fit into the Marvel universe, but Loki is the father of Hela and both her siblings, the snake and the wolf how Norse mythology got that he got to be father to all three of these. That I can't explain to you, but that is, that is, that is Norse mythology for you. The next one is Wolf, and of course this is for the next sibling then. This is this beautiful, like mustard yellow, and this is one of the first shades that I said that I really needed to have as well. I wanted to have something that was a mustard yellow so that we can take the looks in a different direction if we don't want to go bright. Maybe you want to keep it a little bit more neutral, maybe you want to keep it a little bit more the grungy side, because this is a very grungy mustard yellow that has a slight green undertone. I just think that this is such a beautiful color, and this color, if you start with this color, you can blend out like this one, or this one, or even this one. I'm using this dark shade in one of the looks that you're going to see tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to have a one palette three looks with this one. And you're going to be able to see that if you use this mustardy yellow in the beginning, it just tones down the look a little bit and makes it almost a neutral look, like makes it a little bit more of a grungy neutral look. And I just think that this is such a beautiful color. Then we come to the, like the pinky one. It is called Hella after the goddess and this is a very not a bubblegum pink it is a little bit more leaning on the pastel side but not a true pastel it has a little bit of a peach undertone it's just a beautiful for me starting up crease shade that is a matte next one is hellfire and this is I knew I wanted to have a metallic shade in this palette that was something totally different and I decided to go for this true peach metallic. I feel like a lot of times when we get like a peach in a palette it's always leaning either a little bit too pink or a little bit too gold and this is a true peach metallic, high shine peach metallic. It is absolutely stunning and it will go with a lot of shades in this palette. And this is a perfect shade if you want to again just use a little bit of Hella in the crease, a little bit of Hellfire on the lid and you will have a pinky springtime easy flirty look that is not too deep and not too bright. Next shade is Goddess and this is this bright darker bubblegum pink. I 
wanted to include pink because I love pink eyeshadow and I also think that pinks and greens are so pretty together and I already knew that I wanted to have this dark color and I will do some explaining about this in a bit and I knew that pinks would fit so well with that shade and that's why I decided to include this one. So we have two pinky mattes in this, uh, in this palette. One that is a lighter, it can be used as a inner corner shade if you want to or as a lid shade and then we have one more deepening up shade and if you really want to get deep you can deepen it up with the other matte one that I'm going to show you in a bit. Then we have double sided and double sided I decided to name it that after like I said the goddess has half side as a dead face and half side as a living face. And I decided to name this one double-sided because this is the multi-chrome in the palette. So this is truly a double-sided or maybe even more. This is a transparent base. So this one will go over any of these shades here. You can use this one to transform any of these shades. It also works as a face highlighter because of the transparent base. And it's really pretty as an inner corner highlight or in the middle of your eye as just an extra accent. This is a lime green going to gold, going to fiery peach. And like you can see, based on how this palette looks, lime green going to gold, going to a peach. Yeah, I decided that I wanted this kind of a multi-chrome in here and I was very specific just because I wanted it to be able to go with all of these shades. And I'm just so happy about this shade. I'm so happy we were able to get a multi-chrome into this palette. I just think it brings something extra and something fun. And it's just such a perfect shade to just put all over the lid, doing some pink in the crease or doing some green in the crease and just really spruces up this palette and all your looks to be honest. The one next to it, it's called River because this is named after that like underground river that is the border between the kingdom of the living and the kingdom of the dead. And it is like that shift that like dark water can have. So this is named after just dark water. It has a plummy purple base and then it has a teal sh uh, lime shade shift. So depending on in which light you see it, it would look either a teal shift or lime shift. And then with that like plummy purple base. And as you can tell, like a limey shift and the purple base, like it will go with so many of these shades. And this was one of the first shades that I said that I needed to have in this palette because I knew I wanted to have something that would bridge between different like different aspects of this palette and I'm so happy this we had a lot of revisions of this shade because I, of course I've been testing out uh, like samples and all of these I forgot to tell you but all of these shades are new none of these are repeats these are especially made for this palette so I have been very specific with what kind of shades I wanted to have so all of these are new shades and they are made specifically for this palette. But this river shade, I'm just so excited about it. It's such a beautiful like duochrome and I'm so happy we have it in the palette. And I just know that when you see this one and when you're able to swatch it, you're just gonna gasp because it's so, so pretty. And then we have, which is probably my favorite shade in this palette. This is truly the actual chameleon of this palette. And this is the shade that's called Soot. I decided to name it Soot because back in the days when Norse mythology was a thing in Sweden, dying of disease was said in Sweden to die of soot, dörden, basically meaning dying of soot, death. And that's why I decided to name this color soot because it is kind of the color of soot. It looks a little bit like a dark chocolatey brown, but it's actually a very deep plum. It is a blackened plum. So when you use this, with these pinks, it will pull very berry. But if you use this one with this one, like I did in the look that you're gonna see tomorrow, it actually pulls a little bit brown. It looks very like yummy and like grungy. And you can use it with the greens as well. Because it is such a black and plum, this one will work with any of the shades in this palette to deepen it up. It is extremely pigmented though. It is very, 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 very pigmented. <laughs> and I'm just saying this so that you will know what you get yourself into, but use a little and then go from there because this is a very pigmented dark shadow. You know, I love it like that, but I'm just telling you, uh, even I was surprised when I got this final sample and I was like, Oh, she is pigmented. <laughs> this last shadow is also something that I was very specific with what I wanted and I knew I wanted to include a shadow like this in this palette because I wanted this palette since it is a goddess with two faces going from light to dark. I was very specific that I wanted this palette to go from very light, pastel yellow, to very dark. This is a metallic 
high shine black and I went through some samples with this one because I really wanted it to be a high shine metallic black. The shadow is called complete which is what I said the word heal means in Sweden it means whole or complete and that is the whole cycle of life without death there cannot be any life it is a complete circle and I am so excited to have this shimmery like metallic black in here because it is so smooth it has such a nice shine and it will be such a perfect shade to either use all over your lid as a smoky sexy look or something to just deepen up in the outer corner as well and just add a little dimension if you want to have like something sparkly on the outer part of your lid it is a beautiful pigmented smooth color and I am so happy that it is in this palette. <sighs> I'm, I'm just so happy to finally be filming this. I'm so happy to finally be showing you these things because I have been working on this one for so long and I have been so excited to show you because I just, I love this palette. I mean, obviously I love this palette. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If I see a question that I have forgotten to put in the description box, I will update the description box because of course I wanna have as much info there as possible. There is gonna be a playlist that I create with this palette where I will collect where other people do looks with this palette because in case you wanna pick it up and you wanna get this one, I want you to have as much inspiration as possible. Tomorrow there's gonna be a one palette, three looks with this one. I'm gonna show you three looks and whatever other looks I see with this palette, I will put in that playlist. And I will also link that playlist down below. I cannot express how excited I am about this launch. Um, thank you so much for being here. Even if you don't end up buying this palette, which is of course totally fine. Like I said, just you being here, watching my videos, liking my videos, sharing, commenting, being on my other like social medias, being on my vlog channel. It truly means a lot your support does not go unnoticed i am i'm just so excited to be able to get the chance to work with one of my absolute favorite brands to create something that i am so proud of <sighs> okay thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe i will put the info in the description box and yeah i'll see you again tomorrow for a one palette three looks and i hope you like I hope you like the palette. Okay, okay. Bye!